What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys the mission guide for Tier 1 of the Black Moss Faction. This will have seven total missions you will have to complete. Five of them you will have to do in order to unlock the final one, which will then unlock the next tier. In order to unlock Tier 1 of Black Moss, you will have to have completed Tier 2 of the Legion and White Lotus Factions. Before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content anytime or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you share your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Put through an easy goal of 50 likes on today's video as well as if you guys like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button alongside that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. All right, first up, we have Always Listening. This is going to be a two-parter. Part one is going to require you to pick up five radios dropped by neutralized AQ members. Essentially, if you kill enough enemies, you will notice that, or probably have noticed up to this point, they drop activate UAV little radios. You're going to want to activate that, and you're going to do this five different times before this one will be completed. Now, part two is a little bit more tedious. It's going to actually require you to kill 15 hostiles marked by the radios. However, when you do usually find these radios, there's not that many enemies left over. So I did find it kind of difficult to get more than like three enemies in a single radio. And sometimes I was only getting one. So you might actually have to get more than five radios in order to actually get the eliminations. But once you complete 15 hostiles marked, this will be done. Next up, we have Weapons Research. This guy is going to be a two-parter. Part one is asking you to complete one hunt contract. So if you guys open your tag map and you're looking at the contract phones, you're going to be looking for the one with the skull on it. Obviously, you're going to go there, activate it. It's going to have you trying to eliminate a specific person in the game. It's going to be a real player, of course. But the good news here is, even if they get eliminated in some other fashion, as long as it happens during the time frame of the contract, this will still count as an elimination for you and it will still be completed. Part two is going to be a little bit trickier. It's going to have you extract with an enemy operator's weapon. So essentially, if you have eliminated somebody, you can go up and loot their bag and take their weapon. Now, at the time I'm making this video, this is actually bugged and it does not count no matter what. However, I know a lot of you will be watching this in the future and hopefully you'll still be able to do this. Essentially, just go into their bag, grab the weapon after you've eliminated them, obviously put that in either one of your slots exfil with this guy and you guys will get this complete next up we have vintage collection now this guy is going to be a two-parter part one is asking you to loot 12 liquor or wine bottles basically you just have to find these and put them into your bag and this will count towards the progress now if you guys watch one of my previous videos there was a location on the map that i showed for medicine cabinets with hotels if you go to this exact same location where it's two hotels side by side you will actually be able to go to the bottom floor they both have a bar these have some fridges behind them, and I was able to find a ton of wine or liquor bottles in those. There's also some places elsewhere that are just bars that you can find that will be pretty much identical to these and it will help you get this completed as well. Part two is going to require you to sell 12 liquor or wine bottles at a shop. So once you've collected quite a few of these, or maybe you know you're going to have to exfil soon, I would say make your way to the closest shop, even if it's not all in the same match. Make sure you sell those valuables. Once you sell them at the shop, this will tally up towards your progress. Once you've obviously gotten 12, you will have completed this. Next up, we have Cargo Keeper. This one is going to be a two-parter, and it is a little bit more of a pain than any of the other ones I've done up to this point. Part one is going to require you to complete a cargo delivery contract. Now, if you open up your TAC map, there are two different contracts for this one specifically. One has a briefcase with a little wave on it. This is kind of the C version of the contract. The other one's going to just be a briefcase, and this is more of the land version of it. You can do either of these, and it will still count. Now, neither of them is easier than the other necessarily. Basically, what happens is a helicopter comes in and follows the vehicle as you take it to the exfil point, or at least take it to where it drops off the supplies, and it pretty much just shoots the vehicle the entire time. So with this one, if you're playing solo or even in a duo, the best tactic might be to take the vehicle, whether it's the boat or the LTV, and park it under a bridge anywhere that you can. Make sure you get out as the helicopter will just continue shooting at that same spot. Take out the helicopter, which will take quite a while. Once it's eliminated, you can jump back in the boat and finish this contract. Part two is asking you to fully repair and refuel the transport vehicle. You're gonna wanna do it with the same one you are using in the contract. So once I actually eliminated the helicopter, I just took this over to the closest fuel station that I could before finishing toward the final end zone where I was able to complete the contract and I completed both at the same time. Next up, we have one man army. Now this one is pretty straightforward. It can be easy, but it can be a little bit frustrating. This first part is gonna require you to infill without any teammates. Essentially at the menu before you actually deploy, you're gonna wanna make sure you turn squad fill off so that you are going in solo. And as soon as you load in, 
this part will be completed. Part two, however, is going to have you extract in that same deployment successfully. So once you've actually loaded in solo, you're going to want to go to the nearest exfil point pretty much immediately. You're going to want to call that in and exfil safely, which will have one man army complete. Next up, we have team player. This is going to be a one and done. You're going to have to essentially hold up on the D-pad. I'm not sure what the keyboard bind is for that same thing to request to join two nearby enemy operators. So basically, when you press up on the D-pad, you'll have a little wheel in the bottom right. There's going to be one that says request to join nearby enemies. You're going to hit that. The only real caveat with this is I noticed I had to be pretty close to the players in order for them to actually receive the signal. In the first case, I was able to get a guy to let me join him. And in the second case, the guy actually downed me and I just kind of kept requesting as I was downed and he was close enough and it counted for my second one and I was able to get this done. And for our last and final mission, after you've completed five of the previous ones we just covered, it's going to be who's watching. This is going to be a three parter, the only one that's this long in this tier. And the first part is going to have you acquire a tactical camera. Now this one, you could actually go around and loot for it if you really want to. I advise that you just kind of infill in with it as your field upgrade because you can choose your field upgrade. Just make sure you choose the tactical camera before you go in and this one will be a completed once you've loaded up. Part two is going to have you take that tactical camera and set it up pointing at the underpass in Rohan Oil. Essentially, you're going to go over to that underpass. Obviously, it's going to be a denied zone. I just went down underneath basically where you first enter, threw it at the ceiling, and I was able to get the progress moving on to part three. Part three is going to have you snapshotting five enemies in Rohan Oil with a tactical camera now it does not have to be in the underpass you won't have to worry about that at all so you can actually go anywhere in rohan oil throw down the tactical camera and as long as you're able to snapshot or ping five enemies while it's up you'll be able to do it in one shot it is a little tedious i was able to do it in one go but the battery and obviously the idea of other enemies that's destroying it could lead you to having to do this multiple times but it's pretty straightforward you can even mark the same enemy more than once as long as the cooldown period goes by that's going to wrap things up for us here. We went through each and every mission in Tier 1 of Black Mouse. Now, hopefully, this helps you guys on your journey. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.